It's in the system, it's in our blood You cannot keep me from looking for love Don't wanna hide it, ain't gonna lie Hey guys! Today I'm going to be doing a day in the life video. My kids are outside playing right now and we're going to start homeschool real soon. But first I'm just going to take a few minutes to tidy up my bedroom. It feels so good to have my room neat and tidy in the morning and it really starts the day off on a positive note. So one more quick thing before we start school, I wanted to get your guys' opinion on the layout of my living room. I'm not totally happy with it, but there are elements that I really like. And so just be honest and if you have some advice for me, please give me some because I just haven't quite figured out the perfect layout yet. So I switched the living room around so that it's more on an angle now, so that the couch faces both the TV and the fireplace. But the thing is, it leaves this weird triangular area behind the couch that I'm not really a fan of. I do really like this area though with the chairs by the fireplace, I think it's really nice and cozy. But if I put the couch back where it was, it kind of blocks those chairs. So anyways, if you have any advice, let me know, I'm probably going to switch it again. You look like an octopus. I gave her my sweater. You guys ready to go inside and do some school? Yeah. Ready? Of course you do. It's a beautiful day. Apparently we needed some chickens for school today. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing, Glara? Are you giving the chicken kisses? What is it? What are Okay, let's go inside. Bye bye chicken! Bye bye chicken! Alright, let's go inside. So Connor's working on his math, Katie's doing her language arts, Claire is doing a little bit of artwork, and I'm gonna work on spelling with Carly. So the older kids are now going to do some independent schoolwork, and I'm going to spend some time with Clara outside.
Yeah, no, get on there and then we'll put the blankie on. Similar. All the buff Orpingtons she thinks is Becky. That's okay, I think all the buff Orpingtons are Becky too, so. So for science today, Carly has volunteered to be the test subject. She's going to be using her sense of taste to try and figure out what things that she is eating without using her eyes. So we're going to see how this goes. Okay, so here is number one. What do you think it is? Yogurt. Oh, I know what this is. It's ketchup. Uh, what even is this? Is this tomato sauce? That's right. So this is number four. Open up. Open up more. Okay. <laughs> what green? Last one. We're learning about the different parts of the brain. Very nice. Uh, where's the brain stem? The brain stem is right here. Good job. Do you know where the frontal lobe is? Um. That's right, there's the frontal lobe. How about the the temporal lobe? Temporal lobe? Yeah. No, this one's the temporal lobe. Oh. Where's the parental lobe? Good job. Where's the occipital lobe? And where's the cerebellum? Yeah. Good job. He's so smart. 
So for Katie and Connor, because they're a little bit older, I got them to label their parts of the brain. Did you make a brain? Is that your brain? Good job, sweetie. She did her best to do it. That's a wonderful little brain. Okay, so we're done school for the day, and I'm just gonna give the house a little bit of a quick tidy because we got Play-Doh and toys and school supplies everywhere, plus lunch stuff, so it's always nice just to have that tidy at the end of the day. Carly are currently on baby duty. They're having a little picnic with Clara outside, and Katie is in here with me helping me tidy up. Every day I have laundry to do, and look at that, it's magically folded. Should we go see if they have any eggs for us? Yeah, every day is an Easter egg hunt around here, isn't it? Don't let the chickens get them. Here, let me do that. <laughs> Feel like really safe in there. Always <laughs> five by four pinchins. Yes, that holds you can't use here. I'm gonna head to the top of the hill with the girls here so that I can give you a full view of our 10 acre property. Last weekend, Jeff and a friend of his worked really hard putting all these fence posts in the ground and I'm really excited to have a completed fence soon. So Clara and I just went to the store. We had to go to Safeway because we had to get some nachos because it's nacho night. So I just had to go run to the store quick and get some stuff for that. I got some avocados for some guacamole even though I'm pretty much the only one who ever eats that. And then we got nachos and cheese and then the kids like beans and sour cream with it and then some salsa as well. So I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna get that all prepared for dinner and then we're gonna have our survivor night so I'm supposed to be inside right now making dinner but Jeff and the kids took the little silkies outside for the first time and I saw them out here in the run and so I had to come and snuggle them because they are just so cute they are so 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 cute look at this it's just a little ball of fluff it's like a little teenager chicken it's not quite grown yet but it has all its fluffiness on it so they're just the most adorable size right now Resist your smile Can we move on as before? I could wait for a thousand years But it won't do us any good Will you bet if you get the chance? I know I surely would Now I'm finally going to 
get on to supper, I added two avocados to the food processor and then I'm going to add the guacamole mix. Now I'm just going to pop this in the fridge while I prepare the rest of the food and Connor is helping me with supper by grating some cheese. So the way that I make nachos is I put a layer of nacho chips, then a layer of cheese, then a layer of peppers. And I just keep stacking that up about three layers and then just pop it in the oven for about five minutes or so. And then I make a separate one for me and Jeff because we like jalapeno peppers on ours. Alright, the food's all ready and we are ready to watch Survivor. <laughs> 